The opening of Bahama will no longer take place in two days as announced. An executive decision by the mega resort to delay the opening to guests comes as the company appears to have issues with the pace and quality of the construction. Our Clint Watson was at the mega resort today and files this report. If you pass a soon to open Bahamian Riviera today, you would still see construction crews, landscapers and employees in full gear working to prepare the multi-billion dollar resort despite the announcement that it will not open on Friday as planned. This notice confirmed in a letter to the staff at Bahama Resort from the chairman and chief executive officer Sarkis Israelian. The chairman and CEO said that in setting the March 27 date, they stood on the good faith and representation of the resort's construction manager and lead contractor. However, last Friday, based on repeated assurances, Bahama announced that it would launch a paced opening beginning Friday, culminating in a grand opening in May. However, further inspections proved otherwise. Senior Vice President of Bahama, Robert Sands, reiterated the concern expressed by the chairman in a statement. Subsequently, it has become clear that our contractor has not completed the work with an attention to detail consistent with Bahama standards of excellence. Anything less than a world-class facility and best-in-class guest experience is not acceptable to Bahama. As a result, Bahama will not begin its paced opening on March 27th. Bahama expects to celebrate its grand opening the first week of May 2015. As planned. The chairman of that letter, which was posted throughout Bahama, reaffirmed a commitment to the Bahamian people and customers worldwide that they are creating an experience second to none. The CEO says despite the contractor's performance, they are more than ever committed to that promise and therefore must face the short-term pain of this delay in exchange for the long-term satisfaction that they will deliver on their commitment. He encouraged employees to stay the course and remain positive. Now, ZNS News has also learned that those guests who had confirmed bookings for Friday through to May have been notified on the delay in the opening. And most of the employees we spoke to today said while they are somewhat disappointed and were looking forward to Friday's opening, they're grateful that they have a few more weeks to get the added touch onto that service to ensure that they give the customer the wow experience come day one. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.